Hunter's Guide. Today, I've had a little luck in the woods, the deer woods this morning. Had this nice little 10 pointer, no giant by no means, but I got really good footage of him coming out this morning and uh, presented me a good shot and I had to take him. We're gonna show you guys how to uh, field dress a deer successfully and uh, try to keep it as clean as possible. So you guys stay tuned, we'll get right into this episode. Alright guys, all you need to field dress a deer is some rubber gloves to keep your hands clean throughout the process and a good knife with a gut with a gut hook on the end of it. That way we can stay out of the guts when we open them up. So you always want to start by removing the male parts. Also guys, it's good to go to a pond or find a water source. That way you can keep everything clean. So we feed our fish good during deer season. So we just Toss the meat in there. So once you get the male parts removed, just um, if you got a partner, I got Tanner here with me today, have them hold the front legs, that way everything's out of the way. So this is the Outdoor Edge 420 steel blade. Um, it's a gut and hook for field dressing. It's got this little, it's got this little edge on it here, that way whenever we cut open right here next to the guts, we can just take it backwards and ram it up and it'll open up this cavity here so we can work in and get the guts. It's also handy, you know, it does it, it's got a real dual edge right here. So it's not gonna get in the stomach area or guts or appendix or nothing like that and just make a mess. All right guys, we got the cavity opened up. As you can see, you know, there's a lot of guts in these deer. You gotta take this knife and actually work up here next to the spine and work your way back. That way you don't get into this gut activity. Because if you get in this gut right here, I tell you, it, it is very, very smelly. Just go up there and start cutting down towards the spine because if you cut into anything up here, it's not gonna leave a bad odor. It's just the lungs and heart area. So just get down in there as far as you can. And just start working it back. You just gotta be super careful because you can't really, you can't hardly see where you're cutting. So this is, this is where people mess up and cut their hands. And you can see it just rolls right out as you work it. It's not hard. Just, just take your time. That's the most important thing is to take your time and not get in those guts. Because if you get in those guts, it's going to make for a very bad cleaning. Just like that, guys. You got the worst part bypassed quick and easy. Now you're not done after you do that part because you still gotta get up in here and get rid of the lungs and the heart. Here comes the heart. That was a pretty good shot on this buck deer this morning. I shot him in the heart, looks like, so definitely a clean, ethical kill. I also forgot, it's good to have an ax because once you get down here to this pelvic bone, it's super hard to get through. I mean, it's a real thick bone, so it's always good to have an ax. That's a successful field dress. Alrighty guys, you know, five minutes and uh, we've got this deer field dress. It's not a hard process, it just takes some time and, and also just being super careful because once you get up into this area here where you can't see, that's where most people cut their hands. But we've got him field dressed, now he's ready to go to the processor and ready to get some jerky. So just two simple tools is all you really need, an ax, and a gut and knife, steel blade. Outdoor Edge is just our choice, but uh, we appreciate you guys. We hope you learned how to field dress a deer. Thanks for watching.